Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. So, um, did a lot of work today, a lot. But my new website should be up. Spent a lot of time on it. Uh, before I was like, you know, hosting it with one platform. Now I switched it uh, because of a lot of reasons. Um, Okay, so before what was going on was I had, um, you know, too many websites doing too many different things at once. And then what I wanted to do was make all of them do everything at once. So it's simpler, meaning that I had one website where I had uh, my main website, right? It, my blog posts and all of that stuff. Then I had another website where I had all of the courses. Okay, now what I've done is I have made a website which it has the entire blogs and um, everything cool that's going on, Clever Programmer there, uh, way to contact me and all that, as well as the ability for you to sign up for my courses and actually start taking the courses. It's all in one place. Because before, for some of the students, it was getting lost in translation they couldn't find where they had to log in and sometimes they would log in and they would get a problem and it was like you know causing some problems causing some confusion that i don't want you to have so now if you go to cleverprogrammer.com hopefully crossing my fingers nothing crazy happens that embarrasses me you should be able to go to cleverprogrammer.com. You should be able to sign up for my free course and then it should send you the information for how to actually enroll in my free course. Also, um, yeah, and anybody who is interested in my new upcoming course that's coming up in November, uh, I'll try to put a link in the video description or whatever, but uh, sign up for it for the VIP. I call it the wait list. So basically, you're the first one to get notified as well as, you know, if you join in, if you sign up for it now, I'll also send you my bonuses where I give you all my free resources I use to become a Python software developer in less than three months, okay? And all the resources I give you are actually free of cost. So if you sign up for my new course and you're interested in it, I'll give you a bonus in the meantime to keep you occupied. But other than that, um, you know, what's going on with you guys? Hopefully everything is awesome. And uh, my arm is kind of getting sore from holding my phone for so long. But, you know, something kind of interesting happened, which was before I was about to log off for the night and head out and eat a thousand calories because right now I'm supposed to be eating 2,500 and I'm at 1,400 so I need to eat a lot. I haven't ate much today. I saw a post by somebody named Maha Khan on medium.com and it mentioned me. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I went over and checked it out and it was a really cool post and um, basically what she was saying was that she watched my video called Successful People versus Lazy People. Uh, that video is on YouTube, you can go to it, search it up. <clears throat> but basically that video is about, you know, stopping consuming stuff and actually starting to create. Meaning like, if you have to think about your time, 90% of it is consuming and, okay, I'm probably being generous here. For most of us, let's be honest, it's like 99% consuming and like 1% creating, if that. So. For example, you know, you can start doing like little shifts in your behavior patterns, like small things, like instead of spending more time watching a video, how about spend a little bit of time commenting on a video? So go from 99%, 1% creation to maybe like two, three, four, five percent 5% creation in your day, right? So now you comment on a video and you know, it doesn't have to be a video. It's just that example is coming to my head because I'm making a YouTube video right now. But if you're on a forum, or you see a Facebook post and you're scrolling through and it's one of your friend's Facebook posts, just go in there and if you like it or something funny is there or you know it was helpful to you, make a comment, you know? Or if you watch a video anywhere else, put a comment there. Uh, you're maybe on a, a forum and you looked up something and there was a solution there on a forum. 
go give, you know, go, um, go to that forum, reply, comment, you know, engage with the community. If there is no solution and you're the first one who's solving the problem, post your solution, okay? A lot of the times we underestimate ourselves and our experiences and all you have to do is you know, you don't have to be this amazing genius. Just document what's going on in your life, right? You don't have to worry about creating something new. That's what Gary Vee says as well. Just document what's already going on. So meaning, let's say you're going through a current challenge in your life or a problem or you're trying to learn something. Just talk about that in a blog post, okay? If you're interested in writing, write on medium.com, it's like free. It's easy to write and there's already audience there so people will find your um, content just like I found Maha Khan's content. You know, um, write, you, can, you can write or you can make a video about where you're at and post it on YouTube, you know. Uh, it doesn't, a lot of people think it requires extra time out of the day or some kind of extra effort. It doesn't. It just means like uh, that time you spend consuming, you just replace a little bit of that with actually creating. So let's say um, you were gonna sit and you know scroll through the Facebook feed for the next 30 minutes. Spend 10 minutes just writing a little thing about your thoughts and posting it. Or spend five minutes making a simple video, just like I'm doing right now, right? It's what, it's been six or seven minutes. <laughs> you know, so what? And now a lot of people get to see this video. Also, don't worry about you have zero followers right now or zero viewers. That shouldn't be the thing that motivates you to create this content. You know, like um, you have to understand, you might look at my channel and be like, obviously, cause you're making this video because you have so many viewers. Well, now, yes, I do. As of now, as of today, we just hit 80,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. So thank you guys for that. But. I was making my content when I had zero viewers and zero subscribers because I just like believe that if I put something out there, it'll help some people, you know, because I thought, okay, you know, I was really stuck on certain things. I'm just going to start helping people. I'll put out content and I didn't worry about marketing. I didn't pay for any ads. I didn't do anything fancy. I just put it out there and I'm like, if, you know, hopefully people are going to find this helpful. And it, you know, a bunch of people did, and they started finding the channel, started gaining popularity. But you know, that's how it happened. It wasn't some amazing thing I did. I just literally, um, you know, I was still going to college. I was still going to, um, you know, hanging out with friends, family. I was still watch Netflix. I would still do all those things. But then, instead of spending, you know, 30 minutes extra or two hours extra doing those things, I just said, okay, let me take that one or two hours out and um, just make a video and then post it on. It's fun and I have a chance of being discovered. You know, it's just there, chance of being discovered, it's cool. And you know, imagine like somebody was trying to hire you, who would they hire? Somebody who, uh, let's say you're trying to hire somebody, would you wanna hire somebody who just like fits the very basic criteria for a job or would you hire somebody who is so passionate about it that in their free time, they have videos for that or they have a website about that subject. So if you want to become a programmer, you know, you don't necessarily need a degree or anything. If you have a website, you have a platform or you have something where you create a content and people can see it and you're, you're going to get people to reach out to you and want to hire you and you'll just stand out. Like for example, just a few days ago, I got a job offer for about a hundred K for a Python. Um, and I turned down the offer uh, because I'm at a point where I'm actually more interested. I need more time to create content for you guys and help you guys out. And one thing I'm realizing is that it's not even necessarily like I need to help you guys with just coding. You know, one thing I'm realizing is that knowledge is not what's stopping a lot of us, right? Knowledge, it's not knowledge that we need. It's actually behavioral change, motivation, the right guidance to get started. And I feel like that's where I can actually be more helpful because there are tons of tutorials, there's tons of guides, there's tons of how to's, but not a lot of people make the big picture connection of why software development, why programming, 
you know, what are the big picture, like nobody even mentions, or at least not anywhere that I've seen, you know, they're online courses and they have content where they don't even assume that you have a job or you're not busy currently in your life. You know, um, it's almost like they just assume everybody's like a student and they have like nothing going on in their lives. So they'll make really dense technical content without explaining any of the like, you know, big picture, like when should you start freelancing? When should you start becoming a full-time developer? How do you know you're ready? Where can you go to start getting clients? All those things, right? They don't mention that. They'll just have this dense content. And if you're busy, you likely don't have that much time available at your hands, right? You have a very little bit of time. So again, those are the things that I found more important that need to be addressed that aren't addressed. So that's where actually I'm going to be focusing a lot on and you know, my future content is going to be coming out. You can expect a lot of that to be there. And you know, let me know if you guys find this stuff helpful because yeah, I want to make like really technical videos, but I don't think that that's what's stopping a lot of us. I, I really don't think so. I think we know where we can find the resources and stuff. I think it's that we have sometimes trouble about like visioning how software development or programming will help improve our lives if we are able to become a developer and if it's something that we will actually even like in the future. Right? So that's what I want to focus on most. And I didn't discover this till later, right? So if you guys are making your channels and everything, or you're making your content, or you're writing a blog post, or whatever it is that you're doing, right? In any shape, form, you're contributing. You don't have to have this whole game plan or this whole thing mapped out. Just You can figure it out as you go. You don't need some amazing stuff already there. Just like start, and then you can start steering in different directions based on what people want from you, what people like from you, things like that, okay? So, just my two cents, a little bit tired, a new website is coming up, check it out, let me know what you guys think, if there are any bugs or anything, please comment and let me know, like, hey, something's messed up so I can fix it, or if something doesn't make sense, please let me know that in the comments below. I really wanna make sure that this website is like awesome, on point, and everybody loves it, you guys love it. Mm. Yeah, doing this for you guys, let me know. And uh, yeah, let's go from there, okay? In the meantime, comment, enjoy, and uh, if you have an idea about something, you know, write it down, and amazing blogging platform, medium.com. Completely free, you can get started today. And if you write a post, you know, tag me in it, let me know. I'll come and I'll comment on it, and I'll give you a shout out as well. Because I know 99.9% .9 of the people don't take action, only like one, per, less than 1% do, okay? Be that 1%. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love your faces off, and I'll see you in the next vlog video.